You know, North Face has made the black hole duffel series for a really long time. They were probably one of the first ones in the industry to really yeah, the, uh, make a big high performance duffel. Right. The black hole is the Patagonia one, but the North oh, sorry, Face yes. one is the base camp. Yes, the sorry, original the base, base camp, camp yes, one, right? The base yeah, camp, sorry. We have a few of the black hole ones behind us. Yes. Big time guys, welcome back. Today we have a special episode for you where we take a look at one of our all-time favorite bags, the Patagonia MLC, and see if we have a challenger that can really take it on. I've got Big Time Ryan with me today. Big Time Ryan, what bag are we bringing into the bag battle arena? So I've got recently picked up the 42 liter North Face Voyager Duffel. Um, so I've used this MLC. This is like the second generation. This is the big one, the 45 liter one. This I've, is the Trinity Bondage Edition. Yeah, yeah the, the, I like the shiny gloss black. Um, this is, I've used this for probably five or if not more years right now. And, you know, it's been a really good go-to bag. Um, but, you know, I was just kind of looking around and I saw this, this one was actually on sale and I thought I'd give it a go. Um, you know, North Face has made the Black Hole Duffel Series for a really long time. They were probably one of the first ones in the industry to really yeah, the, uh, make a big high performance duffel. Right. The black hole is the Patagonia one, but the North oh, sorry, Face yes. one is the base camp. Yes, the sorry, original the base, base camp. camp yes, one, right? the yeah, base camp. Sorry. We have a few of the black hole ones behind us. Yes. Sorry. I, I, yes. I, I got so... <laughs> Patagonia uh, copied them with their black hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I got so sucked into the, uh, the, the shiny black fabric, I lost my train <laughs> yeah, of thought there. Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, so the, uh, the, the, the base camp, they had the original base camp and they still make it um, that's very comparable to the black hole. Um, and they've come out with this Voyager line, which I think is trying to take on the MLC. Right. Because instead of just being a regular duffel um, it's a bit more of an all-in-one integrated backpack uh, duffel bag kind of combo um, more rectangular and a lot more features that kind of line up with the MLC so I thought I'd check a, check one out and, and uh, see what I thought of it fantastic well let's start with the obvious that's uh, how big is that bag yeah so th this was the part that surprised me the most this one's marketed as a 42 liter bag and and le this liter thing we, we have a problem we still don't understand what the liters are but this is marketed as a 45 liter yeah, right so, so that one's got three more liters whatever those are For god it seems bigger yeah it, it, you know when i first got this in the mail i kind of thought that maybe they had sent me the wrong one and I had to double check the tag and make sure because they do make a 32 liter. Um, right. And so I was a little surprised. It definitely seems small. It seems like you're not getting all of your liters um, that you could be getting. Um, maybe it's just the design of the bag. Maybe it's how they measured. But it, it seems a little small was my first impression because you can really pack a lot into those uh, 45 liter uh, MLCs. But uh, but that could be advantageous for trying to get in those freaking airplane compartments, yeah, right? Like having a little smaller. Absolutely. And a lot of people have moved, you know, I, you have the newer MLC. A lot of people move to the smaller size MLC because yeah. they make two now. And so this, I think, is actually more comparable in some ways to the smaller MLC, which is probably good. So, um, you know, that was kind of the first thing I noticed. Um, a couple things I thought were interesting to in this bag that kind of drew me towards trying it out. Um, is it does have a uh, a shoe pocket or what you know would be normally called a boot pocket, but I think this is you know probably a little small for some boots. Well, you're not getting your size 15 steel toe no. magnum boots in there, are De you? Definitely not. Maybe you know one of them cut in half, but <laughs> right. um, you know it could be useful. If you got some running shoes, some sandals, some sandals. You're on a work trip, and you or got, maybe even just some a wet swimsuit, right? Yeah. Because it keeps it away. Yeah, or yeah, dirty laundry, wet swimsuit. So it's definitely useful, but it's not huge. So uh, you know, be, be aware of that. And then it's all label on the inside. Does the does the bag do the trick where it turns inside and packs into this one? Yes, yeah, so you can. Uh, you can go inside out it and put it inside this, which is cool because you can't do that with the regular the MLC. Goes, does it. How's the uh, packing this one into that little bag? Uh, I, I I haven't done it because I I started doing it and your and then, fingers wore and out. I just cried and then I and then I kind of kind of gave up. So you know you know if it can't fit my boots in there, it probably can't fit itself in there. Yeah, very fair well. enough. I don't understand these bag designers that design this stuff in in CAD and don't actually try to pack the bag in in it. Um, yeah, well, they don't fit. Especially like, you know, on, on a traditional duffel, you've just got like a lot of fabric and so it's easy to push it in. But this has like so many doubled up layers and zippers and hard webbing that like it doesn't, 
bunch up. Yeah, they'd be well. better off just doing what you did and put a strap you could take it all like that. Yeah, and so like I get it on like a regular duffel. It's a little hard on this one, but I do like I do like having the separate compartment. Absolutely. Um, you know, this one, and I was also drawn to this one because I do like this older MLC that's set up more like a traditional suitcase. Um, they've moved to much more of a, a backpack style. Yeah, we cover that in our video, and, and what we mean by that is, you know, these two front po pockets are really for messenger bag style. You want to run them on the lip that when you um, turn it up to run it backpack mode on the style is you've got the gravity problem, right? Yeah. So this is set up much more messenger bag yeah. on the older MLCs. Yeah, and, and that's the way this one's set up. You know, you can see it's got a front pocket here. Um, it obviously has the top and bottom pocket, which are a little bit, you know, kind of work for either. But, I, you know, I was set up kind of that way, which is nice. It's got two two good handles, and of course it has backpack straps um, that come out of the lid here. But the one thing that was missing for me, especially being set up more like a, a, a messenger or a duffel, is it doesn't come with a shoulder strap. Yeah, do run it like a messenger. Yeah, and now it, look, it's got these nice webbing straps here, so I'm sure you could get a shoulder strap and, and hook one on and, and it would work out, although they're kind of in the front. Um, but yeah, I was just surprised it didn't come, unless I missed it in the box, I was surprised it didn't come with a shoulder strap. Well, let me ask you a question here. How often do you run it, when you've traveled with it, how often do you run in backpack mode versus uh, carrying it like a duffel? Uh, this one, you know, I've only taken a few trips with it. This one, I've always carried it like a duffel. Okay. Um, the, the MLC, I would say, it depends on the kind of trip I'm doing. I would say 70% of the time I run it like a messenger, 30% of the time I run it like a backpack. Yeah, I think the one thing to note here, which is kind of, which is odd, is, or it would be a concern for me, is the backpack straps are attached to the lid, mm -hmm. which means you're loading it through the zipper. And like when you look at, the regular, like the MLC, the backpack's kind of onto the main part of it, if you will, and you're not loading it through the lid. And so that would, you know, maybe that won't be a problem over long term, I don't know, but that's something that strikes me of, you look at the other duffel bags, they tend to get the straps, even the backpack straps, towards the main part of the bag, and, and here we're kind of through the lid. So it's just yeah. kind of an interesting choice. Yeah, I think one, one other note that, you know, uh, you know, big time uh, Rick isn't here, but he'd be very happy about, but, but is interesting to me is, is I also don't think this has any way you can do a luggage pass through. Oh yeah, well, big time Rick hates the luggage pass through. Yeah, so. and, and, and it's, you know, very controversial thing on the channel, but you know, it doesn't have that, which is maybe a, is a pro for Rick, but I can also see it being a con for some if you're, you know, you know, using this uh, and you have a big trip you know, the one, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, give Rick a hard time in his absence, but the one time I have found uh, and used the pass-through strap is I'm only bringing this one bag with me on the plane and all that, but if I'm going somewhere for like a month and I've got a big, maybe i got a big rolling duffel or something like that, you know, being able to throw it over onto the rolling duffel uh, handle is pretty helpful. And so, you know, you don't really have that option there. You kind of, and you don't have a shoulder strap. So if you're trying to deal with like a big rolling duffel or something, pretty much your only option is to go and wear it as a backpack. Well, I think you make a good point. And the, you know, we carry a lot of camera gear. We mm -hmm. got big Pelican cases, they roll. So when we don't have our grip team carrying it for us and we got to yep. carry it ourselves, you, you, you kind of need that pass through. Let me ask you another question yep. here. Does it have the most important backpack feature, which is the hook for your keys? Does it have an integrated hook anywhere in it? Uh, you know, it, it, it maybe doesn't have quite a hook as such. It does have a bunch of webbing. Is there, uh, is there like special hook inside? I didn't anywhere? know. I, no? I, I haven't okay. found a special. So it's uh, missing the key hook too. Yeah. yeah. God, I is it even a bag? I haven't found the key hook that no one uses. But oh, man. There is a little, like a little stash pocket here. Oh, no, wait. I found it. Oh, okay. We're well, good. Oh, fine. Okay. Okay. This still qualifies. This yeah. is big time guys, don't worry, we've got a key hook in this Clearly, bag. I've never used the key hook, but it does, it's in this little top pocket yeah, here. Or, well, I don't know what you useful. consider. I don't know what you consider <laughs> Side the Side pocket, back yeah. pocket, hard to say. It, yeah. What about opening it up and what about inside it? How do you, so part of the reason I think that we like the MLCs mm -hmm. is because not a lot of backpacks clamshell. Yeah. And when you're packing for traveling, you don't want to be digging down in stuff. You like that clamshell design that allows you to put packing yeah. cubes. And I think the MLCs have done a really good job of being the right area rigid, the right clamshell opening, and really kind of um, making packing for traveling easier. Yep. Well, how's this one open? How, what's, what's the yeah, situation there? I, I, so I really agree. And, you know, uh, this one, 
It's more like a traditional duffel, so you know it has a pretty big opening. Yeah. But it really doesn't want to go lay 180 degrees flat. I mean, I have these zippers maxed out, and you can see it doesn't really clamshell, and it's got a little bit of you know recess. You know, because the other thing I really like about the clamshell right is in the MLC you can pack both sides, and so if you want to go set up in when you get to where you're going, you can leave it unfolded on a big table and you get into this pocket, into this pocket. This one, you know, it, it kind of flaps over, but it's definitely not really the full clamshell experience. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but, and so organization-wise, looks like you've got one mesh pocket inside and then what's what's this all about? Yeah, so you've got the inside mesh pocket, which I'm actually okay with. This has so many internal mesh pockets yeah. that it's almost too many layers. I forget which section I put stuff in. So it's got the mesh pocket. It does have this middle divider, which you can go position. Um, I haven't really made use of that. I guess it could be another thing if you wanted to do like partition clean and dirty clothes or something like that. But if you're using a bunch of packing cubes, I'm not quite sure why you'd use the middle partition, but fair enough, it comes with a bag, but it's easy enough to take out. You can get rid of it if you don't want it. Um, other than that, it's pretty minimal on the inside here because you mainly have external pockets. So you have a big external sleeve here, which is I think intended to be the laptop sleeve, although it's not you know nearly as padded as what you know you, you get from Patagonia. You've obviously got the boot pocket, you've got some other little side pockets, but you know, a pretty simple inside, but that doesn't really bother me because you know if anything, I think some of the MLCs have too many, too many pockets and I kind of forget what pocket I put things in. Yeah, the older ones especially. I think yeah. they, in fact one of the things they've done on the MLC on the newer ones is less is more, less pockets are more. So for you, um, what are your favorite features on this bag? You talked about the shoe holder. I, I think there's something to be said about the color, but mm -hmm. what and the fabric, but what features do you like? Yeah, so you know, I like the shoe holder you said. I, I think uh, the materials are all really nice. They've gone with this, it's still like a coated rubberized, but it's a um, kind of matte or satin material, and I think that feels really good. Um, I like that, you know. Uh, you know, it obviously depends on what colorway you get, but the logos are fairly subtle. We've got like yeah, black well, on Yeah, not a, so subtle. That's a yeah. big downside yeah. of the MLC. Yeah, we've got black on like a dark green. So I, I do like that. Um, you know, I also really like, I do think the, the handles, you've got, well, yeah, a couple things. Handles you've got good handles Yeah, you've got, th you've got four of them. So all size, top and bottom, and they're really nice handles. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, the build quality is really good. Um, and you know, like I said, this one, these, so the MSRP on these is like $155, I think. Yeah. But I've just seen them, you know, going on sale kind of on and off all year round in different colors. And so I think I paid under $70 for this. And so it's, it's a lot of bag and it seems like a really nice bag for the price. I just don't know for me if, you know, you take that price out of it, that it's, more compelling than the MLC. I think the MLC is just a little bit more thought through either the second generation or the third generation one. And, you know, I think you can squeeze a bit more into the space. I, I gotta be honest, um, I like the price, I like the fabric, I like the no labels, the handles are amazing, having four handles on the outside is amazing. Um, the not having a very dedicated laptop compartment mm -hmm. is kind of, for somebody that wants to be a one bagger, yeah. I just don't know that this sleeve is good enough for me to put my laptop in and feel good about it. So I think that's a huge drawback for me from one bag. Mm -hmm. I could see it being a second bag where you've got a laptop bag and bring it. But the, the thing I struggle with the bag the most is it seems really confused whether it's a backpack or yep. a duffel. And, you know, it's like they kind of got stuck in the middle on the bridge and I think Patagonia has kind of picked. Yeah. Patagonia has picked, hey, we're a backpack with some messenger features. And this seems like it's a duffel with some backpack features. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I think, you know, even the older MLC, uh, which is more oriented like this, I do have br brought this on, you know, trips uh, as my single bag in backpack, in a backpack mode, you know, a decent amount. Um, I think I might struggle with this one because I agree it feels a little bit less full featured in that regard. And at the same time, if I was gonna go bring two bags, I think I'd lean towards a dedicated backpack and just 
if it was from North Face, just a regular uh, duffel from base them. Cam, a regular yeah. base cam duffel. Those things are, I think, cheaper, lighter, tried and true. Maybe the, even those have straps. Maybe the backpack straps maybe aren't as good. Um, but, you know, I just feel like, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a really good attempt. But I, I think, you know, Patagonia has been making the MLC for so long and they've been through so many generations yeah. that they've kind of figured it out. And, hey, maybe in a couple generations... Uh, North Face will kind of get there as well. Um, the other thing worth noting is they do have one other one that they call a, a travel pack, and that's like a 35 liter. So, you know, based on this experience, that might be very small, but that one is, <laughs> yeah. is, is pretty much like a full-on backpack. Um, and so that one might be interested in if you're looking for something to compete with maybe the small current generation MLC. It might be interesting to look at that, that travel pack. I think it's the Voyager travel pack. Um, that, that is like very backpack oriented, um, which might strike a better balance. But then again, you might not have the versatility of sometimes using it like a duffel if you want. Yeah, fair enough. Well, big time guys, here's the deal. There's a reason you see so many MLCs in the airport. They're pretty popular. They're pretty effective. North Face certainly has a challenger here. Value for the money? I think fairly high. Yeah. Do you think you're going to replace all those people you see with their MLCs that have already paid the 200 bucks to Patagonia? Uh, probably not. And so, for me, I don't think I can consider this an airport bag. I think it's a weekend and then the van kind of travel bag. But I'm going to stick with the MLC in the airport. Yeah, what about you? That's kind of exactly what's happened to me. I've taken this, you know, out and thrown it in the, the back seat of my truck. It's great in the back of the truck with, you know, clothes to go camping or to go out somewhere on a road trip. But when I've had to go, you know, get on planes and, and trains, I still find myself reaching for the, the five-year-old MLC. All right. Big time, guys. What do you think? Would you rock this North Face? What other bags are you bringing with you that you think compete with the Patagonia MLC? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe.